Right, hello people. Um, welcome to video nine. It will be the construction of the bedroom, but I just thought I'd quickly say this here, because I'm at work later on, I'm just taking that off, re-carpeting and getting it to match this so that then that, that door's done, I can forget about it then. Um, and I'll just be doing um, a little bit of wiring so I can put the fridge back and stuff like that and just tidy up because I hate it when it's untidy. So that's just a little job I'm doing today. So all I'll be doing is uh, unscrewing it, taking that off, replacing that one with a new piece of ply because it's all warped at the bottom and um, you know it's perished basically because of the moisture that comes through there. Okay, put the old piece off, uh, laid the fresh stuff on top. Um, I'm just going to draw around it now. This is uh, a gift from uh, work people. Apparently there's a subliminal message in the cup for me. Nice to know you're supported at work. <clears throat> right, so yeah, just drawing around the template now. I'm wearing a shirt today as well because uh, last video I had my body out and I couldn't be done with all the fan mail, you know. I've uh, took this inner skin down and behind it you can see it's quite a big cavity there and you know what us men are like we like to try and fill a cavity so a bit of spray glue in there things I've done on previous videos nice Let that go off a little bit. And the dials. Plastic, I call it plastic wool because that's what it is. Then just start feeding that in. Again, nice and loosely fitted. Let the air get in between it. Let water run through it so it can get out to the traps below. And that will save on the <coughs> moisture build up in your van. Okay, sorry about the noise. My lady's gardening, I don't want to disturb her. Spraying this with glue. What I did first was uh, rolled it out, measured it up, made sure it's okay, then rolled it back. spray glue here, clamping it down as I glue it, letting it set, then just working my way round. Um, had loads of excitement, we had uh, police helicopters and vans and everything flying past. I realised they were so interested in seeing me build this van, but there you go, notoriety with YouTube. 
Um, <clears throat> so all I'm doing now is just uh, letting that go off and then I'll clamp this bit. Um, put little slits in it, you know, to push it over individually and do the same around the corners there. And then you can see there it's fitting onto it nice. So. Hi people, right, what I'm doing is before I fit or start on the bedroom just doing up some tidying up some wiring jobs so I've extended the wiring for the fridge the 240 volt system so before I wire the fridge labeling each wire because I'm feeding it through because underneath here is the 240 volt system or it will be and in the background you can see the on the previous bit of the video that's what I was working on redoing that and it's come up lovely so that door's effectively finished now um, nice windows and everything all work well um, pull them out there we go that's some more airing because it is a warm day today um, so that's what we're up to at the moment I'll just show you here there you go, you can see the wire in there, look, and that's just all I did was put a plug on it to test it, make sure it worked okay. There's the 12 volt system, so I'm going to lengthen the wires on that, lengthen the wires on the 240 volt, and then feed it through so that's ready for going in. Just uh, another pointer as well, if you're using, obviously, second-hand appliances or doing any wiring jobs that are already pre-wired but you want to put new in or something like that, before you go ahead or strip things down, mobile phone great little tool apparently you can make calls on it as well but anyway take photos so as you're looking over something snap and then if things aren't labeled up properly like on the um, 12 volt system here it's got a blue and a white and it doesn't say whether it's negative or positive but because of the wiring on the other side of the fridge I know that uh, white is negative and blue is positive so that's how I know. So, but uh, take a photo if you're not sure, because you can always look back at it, revert to it, and it saves you damaging or burning something out. Okay, so it's just another little pointer for you. Well, here's another one. <clears throat> Before I start the bedroom I've got to sort out the gas piping for the back of the fridge and the back of the cooker so this is what I kept from the caravan that I stripped down and I needed a t-bar so I can have one going to the bottle two coming off going to the fridge and the cooker so that's what I've got so I'm going to strip them down now and uh, couple them onto that and then secure that to the wall and then that'll be uh, that'll be that wee job jobbed okay Fitted this strip and I'm just sanding it into place now so that's the dog and then uh, I'll carry on with the uh, pipe work under there okay still haven't managed to start the bedroom yet <clears throat> but just pointing out the wire uh, the system that I've put in there so we're looking at uh, I've created a loop with the copper piping. Um, the reason that is there is because I needed another joint which is this one because I've got that metal one there which is feeding the fridge, that one is feeding to the back of the cooker, then this one 
is going to feed the two ring burner on top of the thingy. So I've fed a pipe all the way and it goes all the way past all of there and then it turns into rubber flex hose so it's safe and it's away from heat and everything. And then of course I had to join these together. Okay, the next bit, um, this opens out like so. And if you watch, see how that lifts up and down. So the flex hose needs to come from here and go up and down. Hence this is why I'm putting this grommet sort of thing in there, drilling it in. And that will be down to there. So it'll be just about here. So when it opens up, it'll pull out, use it, abuse it, and then away it goes. Right, everyone has a setback when they're doing a self-build. This was mine yesterday. Fridge and everything, in it went, happy days, all the electrics working beautiful. Come to ignite it, nothing. Check the wiring, nothing. Um, when I coupled it up to the gas, I could smell gas um, and I wasn't sure where it was coming from. I know it was, wasn't was coming from the actual joint, it was coming from the back of the fridge but also when I put the cooker and everything coupled it in, I could smell gas coming from the back of that as well. So I had a tough decision, safety first or what, so I decided to scrap the whole lot. I was given these anyway. so. I'm not technically losing anything, it's just extra spending that I didn't bank on. But it's one of them things, I didn't want to put a price on anybody's health really that was staying in the van. Um, so these are coming out, and we've just got back from Colwyn Bay, and in the distance you can see there, two tested, fully working order, wheel arch fridge, same as this baby is, but newer, and a stove's... Um, oven. Going to take a little bit of jiggling, you know, to, to, to match it up nice, but it's doable. It's all doable. Um, so that's what the project is. So the, the bedroom is waiting until I get these in and everything. But I just wanted to point out, actually, rather than showing just build and this and that, show some of the stumbling blocks that you face sometimes. So if you do get a second-hand appliance, test it, just so you know it's running. I, I just, I, I really had it in my head that everything was fine on it and uh, I shouldn't have done, but I hold my hand up to that. Um, so, <clears throat> well the Nazis don't bother getting in touch and saying I told you so, I know so. Cleaned all this down with a wire brush. And then blown it out with a compressor. And it's just to give the uh, metal a little bit of extra protection. Okay, I think we're ready to go for a fit. Now you get the idea anyway. At least it's a bit more protected now. Okay, what I've done is taken advantage of uh, the fact that the fridge is out. So I'm laying myself, uh, that's the 240 volt hookup cable there. And what I'm doing is I'm just running another cable here. Um, what I do is just loosely fit these along here. And I mean, you know, just totally loose. Just so there are a couple of clicks. And then just feed that cable on there. And it keeps it tidy and out of the way. Um, and this one is going to be for um, putting the uh, TV um, and stuff like that through there. So that's gone into the sofa bit now. That's the 240 volt area, so just needs to go in there as far as I need it. Sorry about the horrible advert in the background. Um, okay, all that's left now, gas coupling 
I'm just putting these, I'm putting new screws in here because they're perished, so I'm putting some new ones in there. Rewired that so that uh, it's fresh wiring that's gone straight into there. I'll put that cover back on there and the 12 volt system is wired and I've tested it and that works. Okay, fridge is now in, fitted in beautiful and good little mechanism there that keeps the door slightly ajar so you don't get that build up of moisture. Um, the next is that, so we'll crack on with that now. Okay, everything's in, fridge is in, cooker's in, I haven't fastened it up yet because I'm just yet to do that but once that's done that will be fastened in like so. Um, I've got a blanking board here because it was a different side with a nice little vent. Um, so that's it. Okay. <clears throat> right, here we have. Fridge, cooker, all fitted, all put in, all plumbed in, everything sorted, sink back on, this all done. This design goes up and down so the pipe needed to come up and down. Okay. Um, so I created a, a grommet here and uh, the pipe just slides in easy enough, <laughs> like so. But yeah, I can just push it down, there we go, like that, so that when we're on the move. I haven't fastened this down yet or anything, so it's, uh, it's all to do, it's fine adjustment stuff, you know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, a nightmare, tested everything. Um, I thought I tested everything properly, but we ended up with faults on the fridge with the igniter and the cooker had a, a leak coming out the top and I couldn't find it, couldn't find it, wasn't on the joint. So maybe there was a fracture in one of the pipes. So, but this is how far we've got anyway. I did want to get the bedroom in, but not to be. Um, so that is the next video because there's the wires all hanging down, ready, all fed through. Um, coax for the TV, everything, it's all there, it's all waiting. So I'll be putting the ceiling on and then building down the walls and stuff like that. So tune in for the next video. And sorry if it's been a bit of a mare, really. This one is all about um, meeting up with problems along the way, but normally I'd bypass it and not put it on the video but I think sometimes this is where you need to highlight it that, so that people know if they are doing a self build they are going to come across problems <coughs> and you can get past them so uh, yeah, so tune in and uh, thanks for watching again and thanks for everyone who's been subscribing as well uh, from all over the world it's, uh, it's really taken me by surprise the interest that it's created and uh, and Deb's from Iowa, you haven't sent me your link yet, so send me a link because you asked if uh, you wanted to join your website of uh, rambling RVers from all over the place. So yeah, it'd be nice to look in, uh, definitely. And once this is actually built as well, um, I'll be taking my adventures off, kayaking, uh, going around the Welsh countryside and other places. And I'll be filming it and uh, posting them up so you can see what we get up to when we get going as well. So anyway, okay. Um, as they say, cue the music. <laughs> <laughs>